my friend Miami here, another day, another balcony, and there you go. I'm just gonna show you some product that I'm use. Not because I've been responsible for this, guys, but uh, it's, I like the product. I'm use the mass seal caulking for the joints, all right? And this is the the master seal base coat just a base coat using it as a base coat and to glue the tape on this is just a textile tape with for the joints i use a full piece and for the corners i just split it in a half so let me put this aside this one i just split on a half i already have a base coat in there i just put some caulking right there just a tiny bit and then what happened this is the base coat i just go See this one, I just split it in a half for the corners. I just put it there, just make sure it is not too crazy tight, but you need to leave a little bit product in there. But make sure it is tight on the corner, just about it. This one I just put it, just left it there. And to fill in the big holes, we're gonna put sand, it's gonna be a little bit rough, so I just mix some sand with the base coat that way I could fill in the big hole and for the join of the plywood I just left this last join here for you guys to see I have the cock in there fill in the joint and then I just go like something like this base coat right a little bit stick but it works right just wants to do the four inches right and this guy is self level you see I put it and then it just pretty much Lab itself. And this part here, I'm not too worried close to the door because we're gonna replace the door. Once the time comes to replace the door, and then I clean it and I just seal it again. So this is the tape. Like you see, this one is full size tape. Basically, I'm just gonna put it there. Make sure it is tight enough, right? And then I just gonna make sure it's tight in there. And then I go later on when there's a time to roll it, I go and check, like I give it a few hours. And I go and check to see if some tape lifts up a little bit on the ends and then I push it down. And then if you if you refer for my other video, I have another balcony that I prep. You guys can see that I just use a little bit different stuff in there. Put the other balcony to fill in the big hole, I use soda and mix with the primer and fill in the hole. This one, since we're gonna watch it rough, I had sand. I just uh, mix some sand with the base coat fill in the big holes and do it good like let me show you guys you can see some area you can see that there's a little bit sand in there because we had some bigger holes in there so before i roll it on i go back and check to see if uh, something is missed clean it up which usually is good to give some more time but no here on the winter we don't have that time so the time that i'm gonna give for this guys to be good gonna be just the time that i'm gonna put the green tape around the dripping cup and then i'm gonna roll it on because the time here is very important and we just get a few days this here we call it rain cover let's go to work and i show you guys once we roll it on because we have a request to do it and other thing that is important because this guy would get hard so i just cut the plastic just a little bit enough to put the paint brush easier to see i can show you guys how this is a good hint because this guy if you don't seal it proper it would dry very fast so what i do like i have this stuff kicking around nothing special you see guys see the hole in there i just gonna do this way you guys can see this is sealed tight in there and the another important thing is just don't put the lid right here because this one would glue the lid on here is my other part that i have At the end of the day i would put a plastic like that and i put the lid in here that way easier to remove the lid because this would be let's say you have a half bucket you close it without the plastic when you need to open it it's gonna be totally grown the best thing is to do this because if you need later you just remove the lid cut the plastic and you're good to go hint you can see here this is very much airtight in there but for now we need it uh, open to keep going yeah guys and another thing that is very important here is the moisture you cannot have moisture when you apply this product so in this case here the plywood was new dry we cover it not to get a moisture this not accept moisture if it's not moist don't do it like uh, once you apply it after a few hours is a little bit moisture come by not gonna damage it just gonna take longer to to dry don't seal it with moisture Okay, let's me keep working here.
Hello my friends, here we go. We just this is just the base coat. What are we doing here? The process is just like painting. You guys can see here I did the corner with the paintbrush. All this stuff. Uh, and then I just uh, regular stuff. Just grab the paintbrush and go crazy on it. Like uh, I mentioned to you guys before. This tape is still fresh, you can see it moving. Usually it's good to wait until it is dry, but this is winter, so we don't have a whole lot of a good day to do this. And we need to seal this balcony. This is how we go. We just pretty much like paint. We do all the corners, all the cutting, and then just roll it. And we're gonna come with the top coat. We're gonna put some sand on it, make some sand. That way it's not too slippery. And this one here, I just, it's still gonna come back with some more caulking and fix all that. Just, I just want to get like the big stuff done. Yeah, you guys can see the tape is just uh, moving a little bit. I just gonna try to stretch it out. Oh, and then here we just roll it. Here we got to this door. You can guys see down there. It's all done that way. We're just gonna start from the other end now. Come this way and then we just get out in here and we go to the front. It's getting a little bit dark. But you have another balcony there. It's all prepped. But I can show you here one thing that I didn't show you guys on this one. You guys can see this one here is, is all prepped to go. We just put the board because we need to go in and out. Here I show you, we have the green tape in there. The green tape is just to help to keep a straight cut and prevent any dripping. We have a long way to go here and we keep going. And the tape, once we put the top coat, finish coat, and then we remove the tape while the paint is still wet. That way it doesn't get stuck. But it's already almost getting dark. We're gonna try to get to this one today. It doesn't take long like that one there it took us less than one hour to roll it on i have my daughter helping me out today and uh, she's just going crazy on it and this one we're just gonna do the same and go that side there we just put uh, some poly the reason is because the gutter is old and was just dripping some water out of it like we had some moisture from the gutter just dripping on the on the plywood so we just put this utility poly up that way keep the moisture running that way and we hope when the, we're doing the top coat would be a better day so we can just remove it totally because if we leave like that we're gonna have some touch up to do but if that is the case it's not a problem i'll be around okay let's keep going here guys and i let you know once we're doing the top coat we show you that probably gonna be Saturday, something like that. Yeah, like in this case here, like I mentioned, the thing that we did, we have the green tape in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, maybe see the reflection of it. And uh, the plastic, because it's just like uh, the moisture really affected. We have some moisture, would not work good. Hello my friend, here we go for the second balcony on the base coat after after a day of work so we just have to go through the night. Here too we just put the poly up because a lot of moisture during the night. We just did a temporary cover up in here that way we can finish the job. And now like you guys can see, very easy. You just put this stuff down and roll it up. Long strike. Like, uh, you can finish like a balcony like this one very fast what takes more time is the prep you just have to keep it clean in this case here we had a lot of pine needles that just keep falling off as we go we clean it i believe now with the poly up the plastic it would keep protected okay let me keep going here maybe another half an hour 45 minutes between keep the toes and roll this guy up and we'd be good to go and here how we work, we have a bucket, have a, a box in there just to in case we find something that is not supposed to be here. We just clean it up and put in and that's about it. And there guys, it's just a little crack so I'm just gonna put in a bit more. Once this is dry, I'm just gonna check to see if it's a little place to do a little bit touch up before I put the top coat. Beside that, it is about it guys. Two balcony set up after a day of work. 
not too bad. Yes, my friends, about to wrap up in here. I mean, about to wrap up, I really wrap up. This is my paintbrush that I wrap up to keep it wet for the next day. And this is my roller, so I'm just gonna wrap it up on pole. That way I keep it wet for a couple of days. Maybe even a week if you do a good job. And then I don't have to use another one. I just try to be cheap. I say somewhere around close to 10 wrap wrap around this thing with this pole. So if the, if the air doesn't go in, it doesn't dry, so just keep it like this. I put all together here with my paintbrush. So in there. Next time I just have to unwrap it and uh, keep going. The tray, because we're doing other job in here. I don't want it to get too mess or dust go inside. I'm just gonna put a, this piece of plywood right on top of it. And the rest is all good. Knife that we're using. I'm just gonna remove the blade, otherwise it's just gonna be stuck in there. Already a little bit is stuck. No problem, we have a solution. I'm just gonna break it. I leave it without blade. That way, otherwise if you leave the blade there, everything just get stuck. We all together here for the night. Tomorrow we'll be back on this job after a regular running day. After a regular day of work, we just come back and do what we can. I'm gonna call this job for now. It is, I'm not gonna say a part-time, but a spare time job. We have a spare time, we come in, we do some work, and how we go. Love you guys, and I see you when we're doing the finished coat that I, I hope would be in a couple of days. Should be, this should be able to be dry enough for the top coat. And let's get out of here. My bandaid, I cut, have a little cut today, okay. Let's go home. Hello my friends, here we are. This is very simple. We're going with the top coat for the balcony right now. We're just gonna roll it on. Make it looks good. I'm not gonna go too far because I want to put some sand. Not too much sand, but gonna be some sand. What I have in here, like you guys can see, I create something here that way the sand would spread not too fast, slow, because we don't want too much sand on it. I just throw some sand in there. We have the sand. And like few corners there where we don't have so much, I'm just gonna throw some from here. Not a whole lot of sand, like you guys can see. Just to keep it tight, not too slippery. And it's about it, and then I'm gonna roll a bit more, and then I throw some more sand in there. Do you have to put the top coat immediately after, or no? Wait for it to dry. Oh, this is a, the part of the top coat, right? Some people, they just leave like that. Oh, I see. Yeah guys, I'm just gonna do a little bit at the time because the space here is a little bit of an issue. The balcony is very narrow. It is on the second floor, so no enough space to do a long strip. Gotta go a little bit at the time. And just grab it, let it set a little bit, like you guys see, it's not dropping there. And then once I go to the point that I want, I just step in and start to shake. Yes, my friend, hello. Back we are to do the top, another top coat on this uh, balcony. It's already sealed, but the reason that I want to do the top coat is just to make, because we put some sand, and then it's a kind of rough, so I just want to make it a little bit smooth by 
put the other another coat on top of the sand, make it as not as sharp, and then you can walk on your better feet, right? If you're inside the house, decide just to walk on this side on the summer. You don't need to wear a shoes. So this is just uh, to make it, uh, the sand is to make it a better grip. The top coat that I can put on top of the sand is to make it a, a grip, but a smooth grip. That way it's not so sharp to cut yourself, right? Because uh, sometimes if you try to do something, so I was just try to clean up. I just uh, touch the sand, it's corroded a little bit in there, so, and then make it smooth. Okay, what I done in here, we have excess sand on top of the balcony. You can use a broom to clean it up, the excess, excess sand, but I just go with the, the blower, right? Got all the excess sand with the blower. As I go paint this one is a long balcony. Sometimes we walk, maybe some mess. As I go, if I see something that I don't like, dust or something who fell off, a leaf from the pine or cedar, I just grab the blower, blow it away down there, and it's about it. Okay, let's uh mingle red and start to work from this end. I show you guys in here. Here, uh, I don't know if you guys can see here we have a joint for the a tape right for the joint and here's another tape like you guys can see still can see a mark of it in there because i didn't find the tape that i was looking for just gonna do it i just gonna do first i just gonna use the paint brush do the corners and then i gonna roll it this is the roller from the other day i just kept it inside the bucket like i just that way it doesn't need to get another roller i just had it like that just to show you guys, I put it in, close the lid. Now I'm just gonna roll this guy up. Ready to use because this is, this is what happened is once I use it once, the roller would go very hard to reuse it for a few days later. Another thing that I'm doing, see? This is just an old paintbrush. I'm just gonna use it and I just dump it. Once I'm done here today, it's just gonna go to the, to the garbage. Little bit thick of some part. And I had it here for a couple of days. Let's get the job done. I'm just gonna go do all the corner here first. As usual, nothing too crazy. Just for the color, then I'm just gonna roll it on. Hello my friends, here we are, night in here, took us uh, two and a half hours to wrap up this thing, I think a bit less, the two balconies, and we here just, I uh, just have to finish this bit in here, if you have any question you ask, you can ask, and if you have a comment, leave it there, I'd be glad to check every comment, and I love you guys, and this is 100% waterproof, I done this type of work, like one of the house was about 20 years ago, up to today they just sold the house the last year, I was there, the plywood looks like new, never had a, one drop of water on it, I'm just going here, so what we done in here, we just uh, seal the gaps, we did a base coat, we put the tape on the joints, we did one coat, Throw up some sand because it's not to be slippery and we know we're doing another coat on top that way it's not the sand is not as sharp that can cut your feet but it's a little bit smooth i just look in here i don't see that we're gonna need any touch up everything looks good but uh, if we need we do just to let you guys know this is not a regular time to, to seal a, a balcony or deck you guys can see here we have to put the pole cover up and was a little bit extra work because right now is uh, December and it's cold, right? So we just uh, keep going. But tonight we're gonna have some rain. But what happened is this here is just uh, is covered, and uh, the one on the back there, the smaller one, is not covered. But that one we did first. So if we have like three, four hours of the membrane sitting there. We would not have a problem, the water could go on top of it. This is why we do it, because it is waterproof. And I love you guys. 
and I'm gonna keep going here for another few minutes finish this part that I'm stand I'm gonna go on top of the 2x12 in there and then I just roll this part in here done for the night nice progress just another day after work and here we go I love you guys see you soon yeah guys one thing that I just uh, was missed to understand this in here like the last coat we put in here took like about three four days to be able to walk on it was not that long it was expect takes a little bit longer but uh, was a little bit less time than I expect on the winter I'm gonna leave it uh, four days and then we check it out we have all set up in here we can walk without disturbing it so we good to go hello guys this is my balcony so this is how it looks i mean like i'm very happy with the result been tested been a lot of rain and been raining here for a month straight and a lot of water not even drop leaking this is the front one let me show you guys the one on the back you guys can see it. very good too i mean like uh, this one looks uh, great looks great and smooth and i am very happy with the result no leaking anywhere you already walk run on it high traffic on it not slippery no uh, like I mentioned the tape you still can see a little bit but if you look close otherwise very much is hard to see where is the join was okay guys I love you guys thank you very much see you in the next video keep in touch keep watching and we keep loading enjoy your life and keep safe